This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion HOTAS current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 3rd of January 2022, lovely new year. There is a whole bunch of new free DCS World mods and or updates to existing mods. So many in fact that it's becoming impossible to cover these in full detail with full individual videos. It would just be purely a mod video channel which is not what I want to do. So we're going to change the way we do it slightly and we're going to have multiple mod updates or new mods in a single video. So let's see what we've got today and we will look at each of these individually but just a summary. A new version of the Jazz 39C Gripen version 1.8. Loads of new stuff and we'll go through that shortly. Next new Rafale from Cuesta, should I say a new version that's as far as we can see the same as the old version but it's now working on the new version of DCS Open Beta. Next a brand new Typhoon Eurofighter mod by Les Chuzas Negras version 1.02. It's a new mod, very early stage, it's derived from the old VSN mod we believe. It's in quite a simple state at the moment but it's got its own cockpit and it's a bit of fun and we'll go over that shortly. New version of the A4E Skyhawk, version 2.0, release client 3, way too much to talk about, has been added and we'll show that as well. A new slightly improved version of the CH53E Super Stallion. Those are the five mods that use the saved games technique of installing mods. There is one that uses the core game technique of installing a mod. That is the new Rafale mod by Split Air, currently version 1.0.2, brand new mod. I will include the installation links that I have to all of these mods in this video. They will become out of date later on obviously because they'll be changed and updated. And I will try and also update the existing installation videos I've done on some of these mods. Let's start with the Gripen. Weaponry that's been added in the latest version. We have the Python 5 high maneuverability lock on after launch missile the spear 3 electronic warfare decoy missile 3 per station the spear 3 anti radiation missile again 3 per station which is pretty cool this beastie the KEPD 350 long range anti radiation cruise missile also Finally, this is working, the RBS-15 uh, Mark IV anti-ship cruise missile, now fully working in the latest version of DCS, which is nice. In terms of bombs, I really can't remember what's been added in now, but the important thing is that in terms of usage of all these new weapons and the old ones, the actual method of usage is going to be the same, or almost the same, as it was previously. And I've got a video showing how to use all the different types of weapons in this aircraft which I will try and remember to link in this video description. And welcome to the new improved cockpit. As before there is an air to ground variant that you can use and a separate plane for the air to air variant. It's just how it works in DCS at the moment. At some point they'll probably merge them into one. Note the improvement in the graphics of the cockpit all round. Also we now have the ability to interact with the buttons. It's what I would now call a semi-interactive cockpit. About, I don't know, 20, maybe 30% of the buttons and switches and stuff are working. Let's just go around and have a quick look at this version of what works. So we have, this is pretty cool, uh, probe in and out. <laughs> cool, right? We have seat up and down, although it doesn't seem to work for me. A whole exterior and interior lights panel. All this stuff does what it's supposed to do. No, no, none of this is modelled. None of this, none of this, none of this, none of this. Emergency jettison, cover and button. There's none of this guy here. Gear, yes. Start. No, no. This guy, no. We have three multi-purpose screens with working OSB. So this, in the version that we get, is our real multi-purpose screen where you can display different things. I'm not going to go through all of it, but these OSBs here are interactive and you can change what you show. And that's going to depend also on the weaponry. So for instance, if you want to use the teapot or a weapon where we're going to be using a screen to see through its seeker, then this is the screen we're going to be using. We're going to use this button here to cycle through the different screens that we can display, including the use of the teapod so just bear in mind that's a thing different weapons down here other buttons down here i haven't learned it all yet we're just not learning to that degree at the moment but have fun going through all these osbs and finding out what everything does 
This screen here will be the RWR, at least in the air-to-air -air variant. This screen here will be the air-to-air -air radar in the air-to-air -air variant only. Our UFC, we have COM1 and COM2. We have a menu that we've got there, which are working, and L for landing mode. On the stick, we have the safety catch we mustn't forget to do, otherwise we won't be able to fire our weapons. Seat eject arm, this arm. This stuff here is passive, not working there. Uh, canopy eject, yes. Radio stuff here, negative. Environmental, negative. Emergency, negative. Whatever this is, floodlight, but not these back lightings, instrument lightings. We've got parking brake, we've got a data cartridge, weapons jettison, tank jettison modelled, master arm, standby, safe, live, fuel, and we've got our APU, we've got main power. Other stuff not modelled, not modelled, not modelled, not modelled, not modelled, not modelled. Uh, that is the new version cockpit interactivities, and I'm sure they're going to add more stuff as they go, as you would expect. Next, a new HUD modelled on the real Gripen, obviously. This is going to stay as our mask display, but for the time being, if we wanted to use a different mode, why don't we do air to ground mode? Press that, seven. We've now got the symbology, classic FC3 symbology for the air to ground mode, and you can see, and we've got our weapon here different weapons that we can choose. If we pressed 7 again, the symbology disappears, but the new symbology stays. So that means you can use, for instance, air-to-ground mode with the FC3, Flaming Cliffs 3 symbology, or you can use air-to-ground mode with the new Gripen symbology. It's just a kind of halfway house at the moment until the mod is fully finished. Next, because mods like this are becoming complex now, you need procedures to get them started and stuff, and they don't have kind of proper manuals, what they do now is put the manual in the kneeboard, which is a great idea. Right shift and kilo. We've got our contents here. Lots of different pages basically telling you how to work the jet, and this will be more populated as it goes. Weaponry, crew checklists, and these are also checklists of how to get the aircraft started because you can't just turn it on now. You need to press the certain buttons in a certain order. There's no point in me doing videos on showing how to do that nowadays because, look, you've got it all here in checklist. Next, landing mode. You press the L on the UFC ping, and you go into landing mode. My understanding is in landing mode you get extra deflection, as you do in the real jet, which allows these, these four planes slash canards here to turn pretty much 90 degrees to act as air brakes. So if you're going to do that now when landing, make sure you've got landing mode on. Damage model improvements, I won't show it off, just go and try yourself, get shot by some machine guns and you'll see bullet holes in the wings and stuff like that. Also note tyre damage when overspeeding on the ground, so bear in mind that. Also, new symbology to weapons, so certain weapons that have in-range and out-of-range zones, the symbology will display on the HUD. And finally, the flight model. Again, I won't show it. You guys just go and try it and have some fun. It's still a SFM, a standard flight model, the super simplified version, not an EFM, not an external flight model, but it has been made more realistic. It's probably the best way to describe it. Smoother to fly, less overpowered than it was, which is good. That's pretty much the summary for the Gripen. I hope you'll share my enthusiasm for all the work that they've been doing. It's looking really good so far and it will just keep improving. Simba, uh, you really are the mod expert here. Anything to add to the Gripen? No, I mean, the guys have come a very long way. It's very impressive what they've gotten done thus far from where they started and I look forward to things to come. First thing to show, special options. So, main menu, options, special, scroll down, find the A4. Some stuff that we can control to personalize the plane, the trim speed, the amount of cockpit shake we get. Some guys don't like a lot of cockpit shake, so you can change that. The force feedback, mode deflection, simple braking, rudder assisted, or the old radar legacy mode. Load out a whole series of new liveries in there. I mean, look, look how many we have now. Crazy, right? In terms of weapons, changes that we've noticed are bombs, some more World War II Bombs have been added that I haven't seen before. The M81, I think, is new. The M88 is new. I think Mark 77, that's napalm. I think that was in there before, but now it's working more like napalm. Also, target marker flares or illumination bombs. Also, the walleye has been removed to save confusion because you just can't use it 
at least as a wall eye, you can't use it. You can also have four sidewinders now, where you could only have two before. Welcome into the beautiful cockpit, and this literally is one of the best cockpits in game. I don't mean mods, just one of the best cockpits in the game. Now, myself and Simba have been wanting to streamline the important things to tell you about for the latest version, version 2.0, release candidate 3, I believe is the exact we've got. However, there's just so much that's changed that's important to tell. I think probably the best way is just to go over the entire change list of 2.0 over previous non 2.0 versions. So, added flight model, realistic flight dynamics, realistic. <laughs> And that's the end of the added. Now on to the changed general menu icon. And removed and fixed. As you can see, this is pretty much now a module rather than a mod. There is so much going on with it. Anything to add, Simba? Nope. One of the best in the game. CH53E Super Stallion, latest version. Two main things. First, they've been tweaking the flight model. It has an external flight model to make it more realistic, which is good because it was a bit crazy last time. And we've got a whole bunch of new high resolution textures, which are cool. And you can come and look at them to your heart's desire. But so you can see old ones like that, low resolution, new ones, high resolution, which is pretty cool. That's my favourite. Norm. And so on. Here we have the Eurofighter model. We believe it's the same mesh as the VSM model taken and changed it. In terms of weaponry, we can have air to air. We've got an AIM 9 mic, Legacy Sidewinder, an AIM 132 ASRAM, or an Iris T. We've got an AMRAM Charlie 5 added and a Meteor. In terms of air to ground, we've got an AGM 88C Harm, which we can't use yet. We've got an Alarm, which we can't use yet. Bombs, a whole array of bombs. Some guided, some non guided. The guided bombs, like the JDAMs, like the laser guided bombs, can only be dropped as unguided at the moment. That may change in the future. It may not. We'll just have to see. And um, we've got fuel tanks. So let me give myself a little loadout. There we go. Nice mix out of all sorts of weapons. Various skins. I think it's just the ones from the VSN original mod. We have a custom cockpit here. It is only very partially interactive. Uh, for instance, we can change master modes here. Air to air navigation. These screens are not interactive, they are passive. They will show you your radar, your data link and whatnot. The HUD is custom to the Typhoon, but only in navigation mode at the moment, in air to air mode or air to ground mode. It just goes to the basic flanker HUD. And we are flying basically a flanker in terms of avionics. In terms of modes, it's flanker. In terms of controls, it's identical to flanker button for button. In terms of how you fly it, it's identical to flanker. In terms of the way you deploy weapons, air to air or air to ground, identical to flanker. In terms of flight model, it is a SFM, a standard flight model, very simplified, hugely overpowered. Let's go and uh, drop some weapons. As you see, I can accelerate upwards with a full loadout. A little bit silly. But remember, these mods are not made for realism, they're made for fun. So if you just want to have some fun, there's nothing wrong with that. Come and have some fun. If I wanted to do some air to ground work, I'll just press the air to ground mode, just like Lanker, of course. Choose my weapons with the change weapon. Let's have a GBU 24, run into a target. Launch authorized. Press and hold weapon release. 
that's how we launch a GBU-24. Remember, you cannot use them guided. Maybe that'll change in the future. There is a lightning teapot that you can equip. I should say as well, but you can't actually use it at the moment. Maybe that's something that will come in the future. We'll have to see. Air to air. Same air to air mode as normal. We've got beyond visual range mode. Turn the radar on and you're just going to work it exactly as you would work a flanker. You've got vertical scan mode, exactly the same as a flanker. You've got foresight mode, same as a flanker. You've got close range helmet mode, exactly the same as a flanker, just slightly different symbology. Longitude aiming mode and air to ground mode and that is literally the summary of the mod it is flanker avionics with what we believe vsn's exterior mesh and a standard flight model like we said not realistic but good fun go and enjoy it so welcome to the new rafale mod as you can see a lovely really nice high detailed mesh and textures which is the first thing to note and is really good we've got an RAF version and an RAF bravo version the bravo version when it loads is the two-seater which i personally think looks really cool note it is still single player not multi-crew if you know what i mean in terms of weapons loadouts and stuff it is well, it's just the mirage it's the mirage with the uh, rafale body and the rafale cockpit but you drive it the same as a Mirage with all of the Mirage weapons and all of the Mirage controls. In terms of controls, it's a Mirage. It says REF here, but it's actually a Mirage. Every single button and control is a Mirage. In terms of the way everything works, like the way the weapon deployment work, the way the navigation, stuff like that, it's the same as the Mirage. The interesting thing is, it's presented to you in the format of a Rafale. It takes you a bit of time to get your head around it. So, lovely copy here. You know, decent graphics compared to a lot of the mods. I'm really chuffed with the quality that they've got here, as you can see. In terms of the buttons in the cockpit, nothing works except a couple of them. Uh, come back to the screens in a minute. So you've got master arm there. Uh, what else have you got? In fact, that's pretty much it. Master arm and that's it. You can change the screens. And these screens are just modernized screen versions of the analog controls that you had in the Mirage. So you had some buttons you press in the Mirage, but your autopilots were now there on this little screen thing. For the radio and the Mirage, you'd have a little, you know, the actual radio panel header down here and analog headers. In here, it's on the little screen and you can go and do the same things. I can't remember how to do them, but, you know, change your VHF and your UHF via this panel here. This is just your radar screen, your VTB, I think it's called. These multi-function displays here, again, do exactly the same thing. The analog parts of the Mirage made into a screen. So SMS here, um, flight control system, main menu. It's a bit work in progress at the moment. HSI, again, just digitized and put here. EGI, engines. If we go back to the SMS, these were kind of buttons that you had in the Mirage, if you remember, cast on and off. These were buttons down near the armament panel, if you remember. These here are the PCA panel, I think it's called. You can choose your Maverick or your bombs. Can't actually remember what these are. No, these are armament panels, uh, switches, uh, I think number of bombs dropped. Uh, interval in meters or seconds, I can't remember. But just the same stuff, digitized. You've got a repeater over here. For that so i think it's a really interesting way of doing a mod taking existing aircraft and the way it works and just digitizing everything on the screens and it, like i said it does look good hud is bespoke so i believe that is the rafale hunt again the way you're going to manipulate stuff is by um as if you are using a mirage let's see how she flies for some reason the first thing i've noticed is my rudder's not working oh yes it is sorry yes it is just the pedals don't move Wow, and it doesn't feel overpowered. I'm guessing it's using the mirror. Yes, it's because it's used... <laughs> Every mod that's out there is stupidly overpowered, pretty much, apart from maybe the A4. This, because it's using the Mirage files, it's realistic, isn't it, uh, Simba? You can already feel it's not super overpowered. Uh, yes, it is. It is. But I do believe it is tweaked, because it's not quite the same. I, I jump back and forth in between the two. And I yeah. Feel they flew a little bit different. Well, that's interesting because, as far as I thought, I didn't think they had access to uh, adjusting any of the flight model files on the Mirage. But that's I don't know that for sure. It's just what I assumed. So it'd be nice to know if they have tweaked it. The way we could do that at some point is just literally put it up against a Mirage. Oh no, we couldn't do that, could we? Because it tapes over the Mirage. Hmm. Nope. Nope. You have both planes. Oh, you've both planes, so you still retain the Mirage. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so at some point we can do a comparison and see if it is different. Anyway, other than just doing some cool stunts, there's not really much to show you because it is just a Mirage in a party frog in the way it functions. 
Oh, it's nice having a realistic mod. It's so nice. We just tried the new ty uh, Typhoon. It goes about three times as fast as this. Look, it might actually crash and stall. I think that's great, Simba. I think that's uh, it's one of my favourites so far, actually, because it's not using an SFM like the other mods. It really is quite uh, realistic uh, in terms of it actually feels like a jet fighter rather than a spaceship. That's a really useful thing, but it's much harder to install. So really is catch-22. Is there anything else you want to show with this new Rafale Simba? No, I mean, you can hit a tanker with it. Pretty much everything else is just Mirage, just you're going to have to memorize bindings because you're yeah. not going to have the switches to click in the cockpit. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting cool way of doing it. It reminds me a bit of the SUFA that they did over the F-16, which made it retain its realism, which is great, but it made it look like the SUFA. So it's kind of similar to that, but in some ways better because they've, they've changed the way things display on the screens. I think that's quite clever. I just noticed I've put R550s on the side, but I've actually got ASRAMs or IRSTs. Have you noticed that? Yes. What does that mean? That's when you change the munitions, there's a different, uh, the 530 is changed and that is changed. Right, so what are they then? Are they the modern missiles or are they the old 550s? They're probably the modern missiles, uh, right? It's supposed to be the modern versions. Right, okay. So you're going to use them the same as an old version. Are you Sorry, you're going to use them the same as the 550s in the Mirage, but they're going to act as modern missiles. That's interesting. Well, that does it for this roundup. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll speak to you when the next bunch of uh, changes come.